Did you know, according to the Microsoft Teams limits and specs, you can have up to 10,000 members in a team. Now you may never need to have a team so big, but even at a smaller scale, of we'll say 20, 50 or 100 people, it can be time consuming to add those names in individually. Yes, you can use distribution lists, but quite often your people or the members are in different lists or you're not sure what those lists are called. In this video today, I'm gonna to show you two methods that will make it easier and quicker to add large groups of people to a team. Each method has its own merits, which I will explain as I'm going through it. First, we're gonna look at how to get a link for people to join through. To get a link to the team, just click more options and you've got get link to team. And the great thing about this is that you don't have to be the team owner to be able to get the link. So if I click here, I can then copy and I can paste that into an email, into a calendar appointment, into an instant message. When the recipient clicks on that link, they will get presented with a page like this in their browser. They would then click, use the web app. They would then get this screen, and they would click join, and they would get a confirmation message to say the request has been sent. The owner of the team, they would get an email like this one here. They would then go into Microsoft Teams, select manage team, and then by going to pending requests, they can accept or deny. They also have the option to accept all requests. The other method is to generate a code and only the team owner can do this. So to generate a code, the team owner would go to more options, manage team, settings. Before I click generate, it's worth reading the note there. So this is not available to guests. So if I click generate, get a code there, which, which I can then just copy into an email, calendar appointment, or into an instant message. Or if you was presenting your screen, you could click full screen, and then your class or the meeting could make a note of this code and they could manually key in themselves. So the other options we've got there is reset. So this will generate a new code. So perhaps this is gonna be for a new meeting, a new class. So you wanna generate a new code. You've got the option to remove it. So the code won't be available. And then we've got the copy option here. If I go for the copy option, and like I said, this could be copied into an email. And then what the recipient would do, they would click join or create a team. And they would just paste their code into there and they can then join the team. If you found this video useful, then please click like. And if you haven't already, then please click subscribe. And I will see you in one of these videos.